Huh. The Zephyr's just trying to scare us with another echo projection. Pardon my manners. I am Goth. This is my brother-in-law, Throb. Hmm. Uh, hi. Um, <clears throat> I'm Shade, and, and this is Marina. We are new to these lands, torn away from our own. Oh, us too. We have much in common. Uh... <laughs> All we want is to get back to our home in the south. But we cannot read these, uh, northern stars. Well, you could travel with Marina and me. <gasps> We're headed south to find my colony. We would be delighted. And in return, allow us to offer our protection. It's a deal. <laughs> How do you... Little bats survive this cold. Where we are from, it is warm and sunny all year round. Makes a bat grow to a reasonable size. <laughs> As a prince, I am a magnificent specimen, even by my colony standards. <coughs> How'd you end up so far from home? Oh, uh, the royal guard was not acting with its ears wide open. The day the humans captured ah. us, banded us, and brought us here to be imprisoned. Huh? I see you were also taken prisoner by those smelly humans, senorita. Our common ground. <laughs> it grows like the jungle vines. What's a jungle? A jungle. A jungle is an explosion of color, born in the heat and the sun. We live as we choose in our jungle, with the warmth on our wings and our bellies never empty. We eat only the most succulent of small birds, the tastiest of lizards and other small animals. Enough about me. Well, what about you? Oh, well, we Silverwings live as we choose to, too. Like the rule that bats can't look at the sun? Well, I did. Even if the owls didn't like it. Didn't like it? They burned down your roost. Why did your males not save you? Well, they weren't there. They were waiting for us at Stonehold. That's where we were getting ready to migrate to before the owls attacked. I hate the owls even more than I hate the treaty. Treaty? Basically, the bats were punished for not taking sides in the battle of the birds and the beasts. That's why we have to fly at night. 
I could bring an army of my species up from the south and end its persecution once and for all. You, Shade, could be my commander-in-chief. Huh? I think you have the makings of a great warrior. Your father must be very proud. <sighs> well, I don't have a father. Uh, Cassiel, my dad, disappeared while scouting one night. You see, the owl's gone. Oh, a boy without a father. Hmm. Hmm. Shade, I don't feel right traveling with those two meat eaters. Oh, <laughs> we eat bugs. That probably grosses them out. It's hardly the same thing. Uh, look. Goth and Throb could protect the colony. Do you have a better idea? How can it be so cold and, and wet and, and cold? We will not have to put up with this much longer. Why don't we just eat them? Why eat two now? When you can be patient and eat an entire... <laughs> I think we've reached the Southern Valley. Shade. You know, if you called up your sound map, together we could try and figure out where your colony is. <gasps> Focus, Shade. <sighs> uh, I, I see countryside. I see cities. Cathedrals. Uh, now I see towers. Consumed by flames, and there's and there's lines of fire shooting in and out of them. Ah. Ah. You have given us something to work with, Shane. <laughs> uh, please excuse us. We hear the lunch special here is excellent. <laughs> These bands, they're hard to clean under and twice as hard to keep shiny. Why do you think the humans banned bats anyway? To imprison us, so they can steal the secret of our night vision. <laughs> Maybe the band means something good. <sighs> Such as? I don't know, something special. <laughs> Something special. How amusing, senorita. <sighs> huh. That bright wing is starting to annoy me. <laughs> then let's eat her and be done with it. Patience. The time for bad meat will come soon. Like now. It's fine. She decided to go back to her island. <sighs> there are owls about, and we promise to protect you both. Fra, go find Marina and uh, escort her. It is the least we can do to repay her. <clears throat> huh? <clears throat> uh, 
Well, now why not call up your sound map again? See if we can narrow in on your colony. Towers of fire. Hmm? <gasps> oh! <sighs> Something wrong, Emiko? You look a little pale. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, calling up the sound map is uh, exhausting. I'm gonna go to the stream for the water. Where's the colony? I'm starving! Somewhere in the valley, I suspect. Huh? Where is Shay? He's right behind me. He said that you, that the silver wings, a feast. Uh, how could you be tricked by such an inferior species? Huh? Your brain is in your stomach. He, he can't be far. If we split up, we can. <laughs> Unless your brain and your stomach have forgotten, Shade gave me the directions to the Towers of Fire. <laughs> they cannot understand these northern stars. There is no order to their constellations. I am sick of them. Sick of these stars? Try eating these scrawny mice. Why not stop? Because you can't eat just one. <coughs> just try. It's impossible. If you were not my brother-in-law, I would have eaten you a week ago. Then at least one of us would have enough energy to make it back to our beloved jungle. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just go get some more mice. Never mind the mice. <coughs> Soon you will feast on silver wings, mi amigo. That little show of Shay told me about this colony's next stop. Fire towers. But how will we find them? Zots helps those who help themselves. <laughs> huh? Ah. Silver wings. So small, so innocent, so tender. So close. <laughs> oh, are we there yet? Can you see the towers of fire? I am so tired of all this flying. If we were there, would we still be flying? The cold, I am sure it is slowing my wings, and I am so hungry, I could eat a moth. Maybe two moths. <laughs> that is so sad, especially since we will soon be dining at the Silver Wing Buffet. Buffet? As in dining without limits? <laughs> Excellent. Why aren't they here? Towers of Fire. I'm sure that's what the Silver Wing said. Oh. <laughs> I can be hungry or cold. Not both. I say we lose. on the way. Two small bats and an owl. Mmm. <clears throat> Tapas. <laughs> this looks like an entrance. Huh? 
Something doesn't smell right. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. How I enjoy our maybe that should be my first course tonight. You want a piece of me? Your colony! They can't land here! I think I can help! Uh-uh. 
<laughs> Are you ready to meet my colony, Marina? <laughs> Marina! I am not sure about her, but I am quite ready to meet your colony, Mia. <gasps> God, I am freezing. I want to go back to the jungle. I miss the hot sun, the hunting, and all my servant bats waiting on me claw and wing. I say we eat them now. Patience, Throb. Two small bats do not a buffet make. However, spending the winter dining on silver wings will hold us until we return to our warm jungle. <laughs> Where is your colony? Tell me. Hmm. You are pointing in the opposite direction to where you flew. Well, uh, we, we were about to change directions when you caught us. You are lying. <laughs> no, I swear. <laughs> Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> such, such a feeble attempt at deception. <laughs> ah, you know, for such a tiny bat, you have caused me muchos problemas. <laughs> But no more. Never again will I underestimate you, Shade Silverwing. Since you have pointed to your colony in the opposite direction, you must know that I would think that you are lying. You must hope that I would not believe you and fly in the opposite direction. Yes? Huh? <laughs> I will call you Bluff, and we shall fly in the opposite of the opposite direction. See? Huh? Huh? But what if you're wrong, Goth? Then you will eat the bright wing, Throb. That should change his mind. <laughs> if I keep bluffing Goth, I can buy us more time. Are you crazy? It was pure luck he thought you were bluffing him in the first place. Exactly. And now that I've got him completely figured out... We have wasted too much time flying around. Throb, eat the bright wing. <laughs> Where is your colony? <laughs> ah, fine! Go ahead! Eat her! What? Yeah. Huh? See if I care. <laughs> you are up to something, Machacho. No! Go ahead! I mean, what difference does it make? You're gonna eat us anyway. Oh, so you would prefer to be eaten now, so that you may spare your colony. Unless, of course, you are thinking that there is something in it for you. Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking. A bat who would betray his entire colony to save his own hide. <laughs> I think the spirit of Zotz is alive in this one throb. <laughs> What exactly do you want? I... I want... Yes? I want you to take us both to the jungle to live like royalty with Throb as our servant. <laughs> what are you doing? Let me handle this. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> but I will have to think about it. I, I, no. If you want me to deliver my colony, I need an answer. Now. Mm. 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 You have.
have a deal. I'll end up serving you both for dinner! <laughs> You are still taking too long! Uh, Goth, I, I never migrated before. It, maybe I should check my sound map again? <sighs> Very well. I am off to hut. <clears throat> but I swear on the soul of Zots that if you try to trick me... Uh, uh, hey, come on, let's uh, hunt together. Uh, I'm pretty good, you know. Really? Then perhaps you can prove it by killing something for us all to eat. Yes? Mm. Oh, unless, of course, it's just another of your lies. In which case, our deal <gasps> is off. And then we take Marina for lunch. <laughs> I think the prey must be scarce in this part of the forest. <laughs> I thought you might say that. That is why I took it upon myself to bring you this. <laughs> Kill the rabbit. Now! <laughs> I thought as much. <laughs> You have no intention of leading us to your colony. You have lied to buy yourself some more time. Well, now your time has run out. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll gladly kill this rabbit goth. It's just that here in the northern forest, we have a custom of beginning every meal with... A, a salad. Salad? Well, how do you think we stay warm in all this cold? Your custom. Now kill the rabbit! No! I don't feel so good. Tricked us. Quick thinking on the leaf shade. Thanks. Let's get out of here. I smell a bat. No, many bats. My nose is too cold to smell nothing. Oh, there's a roost for, and they are near, compadre. Very near. <laughs> Yeah. 
Aren't the owls and bats supposed to be enemies? Perhaps this is why Almighty Zot has brought us here. To teach these weaklings the natural order of things. I say we order them for lunch. If we eat them now, we'll be hungry by dawn. If we let Shade lead us to hibernaculum, our bellies will be full all winter. If not, we die. Wait, you need me uh, to to help thee out of here. <laughs> you couldn't think your way out of here in a hundred lifetimes. You arrogant rat. Uh, the rocks are all balanced together. Grab the wrong one and we're dead. Get to the point, puny one. Uh, I can get into the cracks and find out which rocks you can move. Hmm. Your size might be useful. Uh, but you have to promise to let me and my friends go. I don't trust you. <gasps> you insult my honor. You have to swear to this on old, uh, what's his name? Zitz? Zots! How dare you blaspheme the almighty king of darkness! Hey, if you won't swear, I won't help. <sighs> I swear by Zots. If we get out of here, I'll let you and your friends go. But I also swear that if there are any more tricks, I will tear out your heart and eat it. Are all southern bats like you? There are none like me. I bet you'd be your best friend if he got in your way. And your point is? Work faster, talk less. Yeah, you ever think there might be more to life than sinking your fangs into anything that moves? I am as Zotz made me! Yeah, evil. <laughs> Powerful! A friend once told me not to underestimate the power of an act of kindness, even to your enemy. Huh? Huh? Your yeah. friend is a yeah. fool. Kindness allows the weak to live where they are meant to die. Hey, hey, you swore on Zots! <sighs> so I did. Curse 
almighty Zods! How can you... You know nothing of Zods. He takes pleasure in testing the faithful. Even his most loyal prince, who has served him well all these years. Uh, Zots is down there? <laughs> you doubt it? Zots lives in the molten core of the earth. His head is a giant bat skull with blood red eyes and razor teeth to slice the flesh of those who mock him. <gasps> You've seen him? No. But you hear things. Way or another, I will get to Hibernaculum. I plan to have a few of your relatives over for dinner. Was this part of your deal? Uh, you swore on the name of Zots. So? Oh, you can't dishonor Zots. I answer to no one. Uh, well, I think Zots would disagree. You know, if he were here right now... <gasps> yeah, huh? yeah, that's right, Goth. <sighs> Zots would be plenty annoyed hearing you talk like that. Yeah, he would. Whoever you're talking about... Silence! <gasps> you two will be next. In a very ugly way. Master, but only to trick him. But you swore by me. But, but, never have I known a bat so disobedient, so disloyal, so deceitful, so naughty. Yes, naughty. Say it. I am a naughty bat. Okay. Uh, I am a naughty bat. Again and again, but with more feeling. Now! And don't stop until I say so! I am a naughty bat. Such a naughty, naughty bat. So naughty bat. My naughtiness must be punished. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bad God! Oh, such a naughty man! A naughty, naughty man! I am such a naughty man! that I'm now slowly freezing to death while also slowly starving to death? Oh, I think you may have mentioned it once. Or was it once too often? Are we almost at hibernaculum? Enough! Shade has mocked me at Kamazots, and for that, he and his colony will pay. Oh, yes, that shade most certainly is a <clears throat> naughty bat. What did you just say?
Together, we'll be <laughs> invincible. What in the name of... My echo projection didn't work. It was all I had. That's not true. Zephyr taught you to echo project because he could see something special in you. Frida sees it too. Huh? They see a leader, Shade. So do I. 